I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're going to continue our series on the Dell PowerEdge R730 XD. In this video, we're going to show you how to install Windows Server operating systems. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R730 XD. Do us a favor if anything is video useful. Click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, so let's get rolling. This video is going to be focused on Windows Server operating systems. We're going to show you which ones are compatible uh, with the R730 XD, and we're going to show you how to actually install it. We're going to do it two different ways. We're going to install it uh, directly onto the R730 XD, and we're going to install it onto a virtual machine. Um, so both of those, uh, depending on what you're trying to do with uh, with your R730 XD. Uh, so what all uh, is compatible? What, what Windows operating systems can I use? Well, you can use 2008 R2, 2012. 2012 R2, 2016, and 2019 LTSC. What we're going to do is install uh, Windows uh, Server 2016. Uh, that'll be the operating system that we're doing in this video. Uh, but again, uh, all those other ones are compatible as well. Let's get going. Hey guys, this has been with Cloud Ninjas. And today I will be showing you how to install Windows Server 2016. So I'm going to show you how to do this in two different ways. First way is to install the OS directly onto the server, and the second way will be to create a virtual machine in VMware ESXi. Let's get going. Firstly, we are going to install Windows Server 2016 locally onto our machine. In order to get started, we will need our server with some type of storage option. This could be an external drive, a USB drive, a SAS or SATA drive plugged into the backplane. In this case, we're going to go ahead and use a SATA drive that we're going to directly plug into the backplane. We're also going to need a Windows Server 2016 ISO file. You can download this directly from Microsoft's website, but we will also provide you a link in the description below. Another thing that is important to note is that you will need a Windows Server 2016 license key in order to have full functionality within the OS, but in order to do the installation itself, you only need the ISO file. This key is something you're going to need to purchase. Um, like I said, it's not needed to do the installation itself, but if you want the full functionality of the operating system, and let's say this is something you're using in your business or you're using it for enterprise purposes or even maybe personal use, you're going to need that license key in order to have the full functionality of the operating system itself. So once we have this ISO file, we're going to go ahead and move it onto a USB flash drive, and then we can plug it into our server, and with that, we can start the installation process. The installation itself will not require an active internet connection to the server, but in order to access the Microsoft's website to download the ISO file, you will need an active internet connection. Again, like I mentioned earlier, the ISO file download link will be provided in the description below. Firstly, you want to go ahead and power on your server, and then during post, press F11 so we can enter the boot manager. Once the boot manager loads, you want to go ahead and press one shot UEFI boot menu. And in this menu, it'll show you where we have our USB drive installed. So we want to go ahead and click on the option representing the USB flash drive. In doing so, we'll automatically start the Windows 2016 installation. Installation loads is pretty straightforward. We just go ahead and follow the following steps. Firstly, we are going to pick a language, click next, and then install now. Next, we are going to pick the version of the operating system to install. We're going to go ahead and go with the desktop experience. You don't have to do this, but I do recommend researching the different options to see which one best fits your use case. I'm going to go ahead and click next after we've selected the version. Right here, we just want to accept the license terms. And then here, we got to pick the type of installation that we want. So we're going to do a custom install. If this is a fresh installation, you want to go ahead and do the custom install. But if you're upgrading from a previous version of Windows, go ahead and do the upgrade. Here, we're going to pick the drive that we want to install our OS onto. So now, all of the Windows Server 2016 files are going to be copied onto our drive. So we're just going to go ahead and fast forward real quick while this installs. Once that is finished, our system is going to restart, and then it's going to boot back into Windows. Right here, we want to create a password for our system. So this is the password you're going to use to actually log into the OS itself. So it's important that you memorize this password. This password can be anything that you want. And once we've created a password, go ahead and click Finish. All right, so once we get to this screen, press Control-Alt-Delete to unlock. 
And here we're going to go ahead and enter that password that we just created so we can go ahead and log into the operating system. And there we have it. We have successfully installed Windows Server 2016 locally onto our server. So now I'm going to show you how to create a Windows Server 2016 virtual machine through VMware ESXi. Before we get started, we want to make sure that we have VMware ESXi installed onto our server. If you don't know how to do this, refer back to our VMware installation video from earlier in this series. This will be a perfect video that will show you how to install it onto your server. Um, and it will also show you how to create the IP address that we are going to use to access the VMware ESXi web interface. You're also going to need a laptop or a desktop that has a web browser installed. And this is what we're going to use to access the VMware ESXi web interface. So in order to get started, open up your web browser and then type in your VMware ESXi IP address. And this is how we're going to get to the web interface. You want to put in your login credentials and once we've logged in, click on the storage tab on the left side and then click new data store. I want to click next and then we want to give our data store a name. This can be whatever it, you want it to be. And then we also want to make sure that we have the drive that we want selected and click next, next again. And then we, we can click on finish and then click yes. So then go ahead and click on the data store, click on data store browser. And we want to click on create directory and then enter the name that you want your directory to be. This is the directory where we're going to put our Windows Server 2016 ISO file. So go ahead and click create directory and then click on that ISOs folder and then we'll click the upload button. This will go into our file explorer. So navigate to where you have the ISO file installed. Click on that and then click open. And then this will take some time to upload. So we'll fast forward here. Once it's been uploaded, click close. We'll click on virtual machines and then create slash register VM. Click on next. Now we're going to give our virtual machine a name. So this can be whatever you want it to be. And once we've done that, click on the guest OS family and select windows. Click on guest OS version and go all the way down to windows server. 2016 64-bit and then we'll just click next that is our data store right here you want to select our data store and click next in this screen right here we can actually decide what hardware we want to be allocated to this virtual machine so we can change the amount of CPU cores the amount of memory the amount of disk space that it will take up if we want to scroll all the way down to CD DVD drive 1 and once we've clicked on the drop down, click on data store ISO file. We'll go to our data store in the ISOs folder and then the Windows Server 2016 ISO file. And once everything looks good, we'll scroll down here and then click on finish. We then want to click on our virtual machine and we want to go ahead and power it on and then we'll go to the console and then we'll open up the console in the browser. So this is going to start the installation um, as we saw earlier. It's going to be the exact same set of steps. So we're going to go ahead and just fast forward the installation. If you need to refer back earlier into the video to see how to do this installation again, then feel free to do so. But like I said, we're going to fast forward this part right here. And just like that, we have created the Windows Server 2016 virtual machine on VMware ESXi. If you found this video, go ahead, leave a like, smash the subscribe. And if you're interested in purchasing a custom configured server, whether it's Dell, HP, Supermicro, Cisco, uh, we have plenty in stock. So go ahead and message us at sales at cloudninjas.com, sales at cloudninjas.com. Anyways, guys, take care.